Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kimberly and I am a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. Not so much eBay right now, but eventually I'll get back to it. Um, and I send things into ThreadUp and The Real Real. And today I'm doing something completely different. Today I'm showing you what I am sending in in my very first flip consignment lot. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what the um, the flip pro seller that I was paired with um, sent me and why I approved it, why I said yes and all of that. So, up first, I will let you know that there are 24 items in the box that I'm going to unbox to show you what I'm sending in and then rebox, mostly because I didn't like the way I boxed it and I wanna make sure that when I send it out, it is nice and presentable and all of that. So, <clears throat> I have my thing here. This is the um, application and estimates. So, the estimated resale value of the box that I'm sending is between $335 and $473. The pros commission is 55%. I get my estimated payout would be between $134 and $189. Um, yeah, so I'm good with that. <laughs> and I'll explain why in a second. Um, obviously, if you're not familiar with Flip, they have a 5% service fee that they charge us, uh, the, the person sending the stuff. The, uh, what are we? We're the... Um, Wow, I'm really bad because I cannot think of the word. Anyway, we pay 5% to send somebody else. Um, it's our fee to flip, not to the uh, the pro. There's also a $9 shipping fee, but that payment comes out from the actual sales of your items. Okay, awesome. I have decided that I want to accept that offer, and the reason I want to accept that offer is, number one, I'm looking for some alternative ways to sell my stuff. I love reselling. I really do. But when I'm traveling between home, which like I basically live with my father right now. I, I lost my apartment at the start of the pandemic. So I go where he goes. And that means I, you know, I do the house. Um, there's a house. We have a house and we go there and then we camp out in Florida. So reselling is a tricky thing for me i can find some amazing pieces but i can't always sell them so i want to find other avenues which is why i send into thread up that's why i send into the real real and now this is why i'm gonna try flip because if this works and it it's decent i mean a hundred dollars may not seem like a lot of a profit but if i'm not doing all that work that's amazing um and if it's more than a hundred that's even better. So I'm gonna show you what I'm sending in um, and just kind of give you an idea of what I put in this consignment. This is my very first ever flip consignment lot. So I'm just trying it out and seeing what happens. I was really excited with the um, how easy this was. I mean, it was easy. So up first, <coughs> if you're familiar with the real real, then you already know this dust bag. <coughs> Sorry guys, it is dusty. And I think it's because people are um, uh, mowing outside right now. Anyway, so I have this gorgeous um, Rachel Pally uh, flip bag. Um, I've actually sent in a few of these to The Real Real. This one they did not accept because Rachel Pally has actually come off of their brand list. So they're being very picky. And since they already have two of, my, two of these from me, I'm not actually surprised at all that they didn't take it because they're not selling it anymore. You know, they're not, that's not one of their brands anymore. So like it would have to be something really special for them to say, well, we'll take it. Next is a, uh, this Clover Canyon top. It's a, it's a cute top. It's very sheer, but it has like these cutout details at the shoulder. And that's part of the problem is I tried photographing this and it didn't. I did not do well with it. I struggled with it and I decided maybe someone else would have better luck. Um, I will say I don't necessarily have the best luck with Clover Canyon unless it's dresses. So although I keep trying with their tops, 
I'm hoping someone else can do it because honestly, I paid three dollars for that top. If I can get twenty out of that, that'd be amazing. Will I? Uh, or will the the pro? I don't know. Uh, next is this uh, Jay McLaughlin like a sweater vest. It's gorgeous. Um, it's actually new without tags. It has its little uh, button bag. I paid three dollars for this. I have had it for months. And I haven't listed it. So I decided to send it in. Next up is this pair of Michael Michael Kors slacks. I got these in a um, Cozy Threads box that I recently did. And I just knew I wasn't going to list it. Um, I've never done well with this brand. Um, I only did well with it when I sent it into Thread Up. But I don't want to send it in a partner kit. Next. I'm sending in a bunch of Calvin Klein. This was also in that brand brew box that I got from Cozy Threads. So it's this really nice scuba dress. It's a beautiful dress. It's a classic. Um, but Calvin Klein and I have a love-hate relationship. It loves to sell for me on ThreadUp. It doesn't love to sell for me on Poshmark. And I have been very bad about eBay. So until I'm in a more stable position to be on eBay, I don't want a chance ruining what little um, standing I have. Next is another pair of Calvin Klein. This is dress slacks. <clears throat> They're really nice. They're in really good condition. So I really hope, you know, these do well for her. Another Calvin Klein. This is a Calvin Klein sweater dress. Um, yeah. I'm filming this on March 29th. March 29th. And I know we're coming out of this season, but there are still places in this country that are cold. So I figured why not give this a try. The, the pro said yes. So this is a Madewell cardigan, size small. Um, it has a little bit of wear and I mentioned that. Uh, I'm hoping that it's okay. I don't know. I've never done this kind of thing. Next, I have Calvin Klein Petite, size 12 purple blazer. It's a beautiful blazer. I do not do well with petites. It does not matter what size it is. I barely do well with it over on thread up. So I'm trying to limit how many petite pieces I pick up unless it's something spectacular. Uh, next is this really pretty Escada skirt. I had sent this into the real real. Uh, they didn't accept it. Um, they're very picky about what they accept from Escada because it's no longer on their brands list, even though it is a high-end piece or a high-end brand. Uh, next, I'm sending these Lucky Brand jeans. They're a size four. They're in really good condition. I uh, got these in one of my Cozy Threads boxes. I think it was the, uh, the Brand Brew box. I don't do well with smaller jeans. I keep trying but I just don't do well with them. And again, here's the other pair of Lucky Jeans that I got in a brand brew box. These are a size um, zero, 00. These are the Ava Skinny. So <coughs> we'll see. Next we have, this is a vintage Alberto Macaulay skirt. Really pretty. Um, again, the real real is very picky about that brand and what they accept and what they don't. Uh, so that's a, that's another theme of this box that I'm sending to my uh, into Flip. Um, it's pieces that could have gone to the real real, but they're being picky about right now. Even though they are brands they've sold or have or are selling actively, this is an exclusively masuk dress. It's just this classic black dress. Um, I had it listed for a little while. Then I delisted it. I sent it into ThreadUp. It sold. Then it got returned. Then I never relisted it. So I'm like, you know, maybe somebody else will have better luck. Um, yeah. Next we have, this is a, a Lululemon tank top. Um, just pretty print. Here's the Lululemon logo. Um, yeah, I don't do well with Lululemon. I tried, but I've literally sold exactly zero pieces every time I've listed it. So I'm going to send that and see what happens because I have other pieces that I'd love to maybe send in. Hold on one second. Okay. So this next piece is Rachel Pally again. 
it's gold label um, it's this pretty top with this geometric print and I just keep forgetting I have it um, and I just I, I want someone to sell it for me I haven't been able to sell the dresses that I picked up so I'm hoping that if it does well in this flip lot maybe I can consign the dresses to to um, to see if someone else has better luck because I have noticed that there are some brands that just do better for other people it is what it is um, and it could just be the people that we are attracting to our closet next is this torn by Ronnie Kobo dress it's this gorgeous like sheath dress it's textured it's kind of a metallic -y. I sent this into the real real and they said they will not take that particular line of Ronnie Kobo so yeah I had purposely picked it up to send to the real real and didn't realize it was the this fusion line so that was my bad I only paid three dollars so I'm not mad at that here's another Escada skirt I actually did send this into the real real um, they accepted it but again they're they the pricing is so low that I would have made no money so I was like Ugh, bring it back <laughs> next is this a hundred percent silk uh, joie uh, medium dress it's it's a beautiful simple blue dress um, I don't do well with draw I you know I think it has to be something special and that's very simple so I'm hoping somebody else has a little bit better luck next is this Lafayette 148 top it is this striped uh, button down with tie at the front it ties at the waist Whee. next we have another dress this is mark new york andrew mark um sent this into the, the real real they said they do not accept this brand they sometimes will sometimes won't it just depends on who the person buying is i do not have time to send it back in again so i'm just sending it in this lot um that was another thing since I'm heading back to Massachusetts in May, and like I said, this is March 29th, um, I'm trying to cut back on things that I may or may not get back in time. Because if I send it to the real real and they don't process it for a few weeks, I may already be on the road heading back to Massachusetts when they send it. And since I'm camping for three weeks to get from Florida to Massachusetts, it's too much of a mess and too much of a risk to worry about. Uh, next is this J. McLaughlin. Um, this is their Catalina cloth, and it's this chain print top. It's beautiful. But J. McLaughlin sits for me, and I know other people have had much better luck. Uh, next is this uh, J. Crew um, mustard yellow cardigan. <sighs> Again, I'm just not gonna. I don't want to list it. I think there's only one piece left. Yeah, there's one piece left. T by Alexander Wang. It's a size extra small and it's this little skirt dress, this skirt, not dress, that has like this ruched hem. So like it gives it a bubble hem look. Um, I was planning to send this into the real real because I paid $3 for it. Then I was looking at how they price their skirts and across the board, it's it's kind of bad it's not worth sending in so I decided to add it to a thrift a thrift a flip lot and see if I did better with it <sighs> yeah it's not a lot it's 24 pieces it's um, not the biggest profit per se but it's better than just sitting and not selling it's better than me holding on to it and not even giving it any love or it's sitting until next season um because i don't know what's going to happen in a few months i don't know how fashion will change i don't know if any of these things will sell now but i want to try something new and i want to give flip a try because i've heard great things i've watched a lot of videos i've seen the complaints from pro sellers i've seen the complaints from the people who like me who are sending in and for me it's just it's a gamble I'm willing to take because I would say approximately I spent about $45 on this stuff 
so if it sold even at its very very bottom that 134 which is after all the fees and stuff that's still a 90 dollar profit for work i didn't have to do i'm okay with that um some of these pieces were pickups that i was going to pick up anyway in a thread up outlet haul because i needed to i wanted to hit my 20 to get the higher discount uh, one or two of these pieces, well, a few of these pieces are pieces I found at the thrift store that I just couldn't leave behind. Um, they were, you know, the 50, they were on, it, it was the week of the 50% off sale. They obviously hadn't sold, but what happens next? I don't want these things to go to a landfill. I want them to find a home. So pick them up, bring them home, and then they sit. And I, and I, I'm bad about it. I, I admit it. I have some bad reseller habits that I'm trying to break I'm trying to list like I have this thing hanging here I've had this in my house for two weeks and I have not listed this pair of pants they're soft surroundings they feel like faux they feel like suede I know they're not they're they're definitely not but they're so soft they're so pristine they're good size I don't remember what and I haven't listed them so I'm hoping that with adding flip to my rotation Maybe I'll get better about listing things. Maybe I'll be like, okay, I don't want to list it, but I know it's a good piece, so let's see what happens. Obviously, there's brands they don't take, so that's another thing to consider, but I'm just trying new things. I'm trying to expand my reselling horizons. I want to, I want to just explore the options when it comes to reselling because like we've all seen, and especially recently, we cannot have all our eggs in one basket, and you never know how a platform or company is going to change. eBay has changed so much since I started back in 2000. Poshmark has changed so much since I started in, oh my gosh, when was that? Uh, 2014? Ugh, I think 2014. All I remember is I had just moved to Texas. I was trying to add a little bit of money into my, you know, bank account. Um, I hadn't been living in Texas for very long and I needed money. And I was like, oh, Poshmark, new app. I don't really like eBay that much right now. I'm going to do it. And I joined Mercari around the same time. And I've, so I've been on these platforms for a while. I've seen the changes. I used to sell ThreadUp. Now can't even get those. So I want to try something new. And I'm just rambling now, but I'd love to know if you've ever tried Flip. Are you a fan of the diversification? Do you use other platforms? How do you do your reselling business? And would you send to a thrip sell, thrip, oh my gosh, a Flip seller or have you? Would you be a pro seller on Flip? I've thought about that too, except I don't want to. I don't want to be responsible for someone else's inventory. That's I've, I've, I've learned that about myself. So anyway, or what do you think of the things I'm sending? Are these pieces that you would pick up or not pick up, not send? I love to hear your thoughts and yeah, <sighs> let me know what you think. If you stay to the end of this video, which isn't that long, but is a bit of a ramble, um, please. And you liked it. Give me a thumbs up maybe subscribe to my channel, see my journey. This is something new. This is something different. I'm trying. This is one of those things where I just want to show you other avenues of reselling if you're new. And even if you're not new, a lot of people aren't necessarily using Flip. I mean, Flip is starting to gain a lot of attention, it feels like. I've seen a lot more videos lately, but it's still new for a lot of people. So yeah, this is my first attempt. I'm hoping for gold. <laughs> And I will keep you guys posted on how this turns out. And I may try another one relatively soon just because, like I said, I want to move some of this inventory. I don't want it to sit until next season. I don't even know if I'm coming back to Florida next season. I may finally have enough money to buy a house because that's my goal. My goal with reselling and my writing is to have enough money to buy a house. And I have enough for a decent deposit, but yeah not enough to actually buy that house outright and I want that so without further ado thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you liked and if you aren't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video whatever that may be whenever that may be and I really have no idea what that may be bye guys